The Technology Apprenticeship Scheme is a scheme that the BBC is doing with a number of other organisations to help us fill the skills gap around broadcast engineering technology within the BBC and within other organisations. It gives people a formal qualification, so an engineering degree at the end of it. It also gives them the opportunity to try many different roles across the BBC and other organisations. So they could be setting up a studio one day, working on an outside broadcast another day. In Arkiva, you'll be working in regional sites, working uh, with the teams on the planned maintenance, corrective maintenance, to keep the systems and the network alive and transmitting 24 hours a day. Apprentices at uh, Redby Media would get involved in a range of activities. One week they might be supporting television playout uh, for channels such as the BBC channels and Channel 4 and UK TV. The next week they may be involved in uh, non-linear uh, distribution through BBC iPlayer and uh, 4 On Demand. And then some of the newer technologies, cloud-based hosting and digital rights encryption and distribution to many connected devices. We're looking for technology apprentices to come and join our team and make a real difference to the way we support technology. One of the key projects that English Regions is undertaking is the technology transformation of English Regions local radio sites, taking them from analogue-based systems to IP-based digital systems. This project is going to run for several years and will involve us using a project called Vilor, the virtualisation of local radio, to upgrade and progress those systems. What Future Media is responsible for is everything that the BBC does online. And my area particularly is responsible for getting all the BBC media out online. What's happening now is about how you can connect all different types of uh, services together, how you can converge social media with broadcast media, with blogging, with, you know, just bringing all of these various ways that people want to interact with each other and with their devices. The universities involved have the best reputation from software to hardware to networking. The students during the time at universities will study codecs, compression issues, latency, multiplexing, COFDM. What makes a good broadcast engineer is somebody who has a genuine passion for seeing the results of their work. So they could be sat supporting a live broadcast television station and the very next action they could take could be the difference between that program going out on air and there being a problem with it. So somebody who really gets a buzz from their work. If you're interested in broadcast engineering, get interested in what the devices can do. Play with it, um, explore your enthusiasm for it, and try out different things. And remember that so much is changing, the sky's the limit. You will gain real experience of what it's like to be a broadcast engineer in the real world. This scheme will give you the uh, uh, qualifications that will underpin a career for the rest of your life in the broadcast sector. So it's a, a wonderful opportunity. We really hope that people will join the BBC at the end of the apprenticeship scheme or join one of the partner organisations. What we do hope is that even people who don't get a job with the BBC will be set up for success in the media industry across the UK.